almost arriving in the platform this is where we are going this is the end we're gonna be staying on the north part of the platform and um, yeah now we still have one hour to go and I'll try to film as much as I can with how I set up the DP and stuff like that so yeah that's our ship right there
So that was our Ampleman transfer, all done. Um, we need to strap it or not? Put it down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we need to strap it, bring it for back loads or not. Yeah. So it took us one hour since we start our 9.4 checklist, continual right. checklist, and our 500 meter zone checklist. After we finish it, all that we go in in position position the ample man ample man to be connected and then crew and I get back on the way by ample man it just it only took us two minutes to finish the operation and everybody's on board and now as soon as everybody's um, stable on board then we pull out go outside of 500 meter zone and on standby. As of now, we are on green DT. As you can see, this was the platform that we came into to transfer people. And then you see this uh, violet purple circle. That's the, the platform's 500 meter zone. So that's the safest zone for the platform. So after the operation, we move out of the 500 meter zone and we put our vessel on standby and wait for next transfer which is tomorrow morning so during the night there's nothing much to do sorry yeah So we're doing all our checklist on this iPad. So what I did since I started my shift was 9.04 continual DP. This is every six hours or every time there's a DPO replacing other DPOs. So after the continual DP, there is also a checklist called 500 meter zone checklist. We use this checklist every time we go in on a platform. And <clears throat> uh, no, normally if the platform is manned, so they have a registration board on that platform every time we go inside 500 meter zone. 
we have to call them and inform them that uh, checklist 500 meter zone checklist is complete we are ready everything is running and if they said yes if they agreed then you can start your approach to the platform as of now uh, we are on standby because we finished our transfer usually our transfer is from not from but we only have two transfers so that is um, okay so that so that is from um, seven o'clock that's the morning transfer we transfer crew from our ship to the platform and they work the entire day and at seven o'clock in the evening as well we're gonna go in take all the crew on board our ship so they can sleep here um, so we only go two times in and out it depends if they need something like for example we have some containers here some equipments that they need to the on the platform then we have to transfer that as well we'll be using our crane to do that so as of now we are already outside of the 500 meter zone <coughs> I have actually put the D green, so that is the green DP, the blue circles and where our ship is, that is the warning alarm and the outer circle that is the, the alarm limits, sorry, so that's the alarm limits. So I've set 20 meters with our warning and 30 meters with our alarm limits and they're all, there is almost no wind, it's only like 8 knots of wind and current is almost zero, that's just 0 0.4. So I've switched off some of our thrusters. So I've switched off thruster number one, the retractable number three, and main propulsion number four. So as you can see also here, we still have a lot of power even if we're only using one generator. So our load as of now is only 239, that's it, right there. And our available power kilowatt is around 2000. So yeah, so yeah, um, we are just in standby outside 500 meter zone, waiting for the next transfer. So there is always a DPO on the bridge every time we are on DP, even if we are not in operation. So um, I'm the one staying here. Uh, my, my senior DPO just went down, so it's it's okay actually because we're not doing anything and we are outside of the 500 meter zone. But when we are already starting the operation, preparing and everything, especially and when we are already alongside a, a rig, there should always be, always has to be two DPOs on board. No on board, but on the bridge. So yeah, Apple project. project. Before, before we, when we have so much project lining up for us, we do subseas, we do, we do constructions. You know, <coughs> ROV operations, and that was a bit exciting, exciting. But and then we and then having this Ampleman job before, it's so boring. So, but then again, we've been, it's been many months that we don't have anything. We don't have any job. Looking at this Ampleman makes me so excited to work again. So yeah, this has been Rocky, second officer slash DPO on board and off your ship. Thank you for watching and see you again next time. Bye.